And now, a tribute to the women of Iran. Please welcome to the stage, Moj Madara, co-founder of the Iranian Diaspora Collective. That's so cool. Thanks for having me. Uh, really, really special to be here. Um, I am my day job as a venture capitalist and entrepreneur. And I'm curious to know how many people, it's a little hard to see, but consider themselves and are interested in humanitarianism and women's rights. Put your hands up. Let me see. Good. So we're talking to the right crew here. Um, for years, I used to tell everyone I was Persian because you are utterly and completely embarrassed to be associated to the Islamic Republic of Iran. It was a hiding out, it was a shaming, and it's something that me and my friends have really been trying to examine over the past 89 days as we have been really reacclimating to the fact that we're Iranian. And we haven't really talked to you about it much. We're here in entertainment, we're in media, we're starting businesses, but we've been telling you we're Persian. And that's because, as you can see now, we have been hiding a very ugly, ugly, ugly secret that we have been unable to share with you how ugly it is, but now you are seeing through your phones and a little bit through the news how absolutely hideous, horrendous it is for women in particular who live under the dictatorship of the Islamic Republic. These are young women, these are educated women. 50% of the population is under the age of 30. They are educated and they are dying on the streets of Iran for the promise of a free, secular, democratic Iran. There's over 18,000 people that have been arrested, 72 children. There are numerous reports about the gender-based sexual crimes being committed against young women, and not just young women, but they're choosing attractive women. They are grabbing women on the streets based on how pretty they are. And I think for this reason, people like myself over the past 89 days have been called to do something. And what we have been doing is we started a GoFundMe, which we thought would be fun. We didn't realize what we were getting ourselves into. And we launched, it's almost now, a half a million dollar media campaign for out of home all over New York and LA and parts of DC to convince the American public to simply just care about these people. <clears throat> um, I know that the Islamic Republic has created a lot of static around who the Iranian people are, but we have 2,500 years of history and 43 years of it has been through the lens of this violent regime, but this is not who we are. And if you see these young kids, and if you look at Mass Amini, if you look at Nika, if you look at Yalda, if you look at that beautiful boy, Kion, that they murdered in the streets, you can see who we really are is just like you. We may not look like you, we may not speak the same language, but we are inside just like you. And so, what can you do? Unlike other social movements that have happened in the United States over the past few decades, we don't care if you say it right, we don't care if you appropriate, we are happy for you to share and reshare and tweet and repost simply because the news is not covering this. And what we've done to try and accommodate for that is we've created this, and I'll send it to all of you or I'll work with the rap to make sure you get it, which is a media advisory that's called How to Talk About Iran. And it's a Google Doc that's free to the public and over 50,000 people have downloaded it and it simply gives you the language and the history and the information on what is going on on the streets of Iran that has people willing to face execution, torture, to simply, it's not about hijab, it's about women's rights, it's about human rights, it's about being able to express yourself, to divorce, to have custody of your children, to open a bank account, to choose the education you want. And all of these things are important to us. That's why we fight so hard in this country. And I think for people here, we just have a huge amount of privilege. And I think that's what this country is about, sharing that privilege. And so I just ask of you, uh, the Iranian people ask of you for your partnership, for your compassion, and for you to take a little time to get to know us and to push beyond the static of the Islamic Republic because that is just not who we are. They are like any other dictator you've seen out in the world and we need to have them stopped by any means. And so thank you.